What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka the Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. Minecraft Vanilla has more of a traditional theme to it. It feels like the Stone Age, but it also feels quite modernistic in its own right. With mods, you can blast off into space or go back to the days of ancient past. A perfect theme to blend into Minecraft is the medieval period or the Middle Ages. There's tons of awesome mods that complement your castles or help you build some awesome old style structures, and that's exactly what I'll be focusing here on this video today. Today I'll be specifically talking about the top 10 Minecraft medieval mods. This was a highly requested video so without further ado let's get into it. Number 10, Trebuchet. For a fully featured Trebuchet multi-block, this mod is the best solution. You can create the base block in your world and be granted a blueprint that shows the size and position of the structure. You then place it in the right spot and right click it to fill it with the displayed resources that are required to complete its construction. When it's placed, you can fire it by clicking on it using TNT for the ammo. It will also fire any entity standing in the middle of it and then you just right click to reload it. If you want some fun with friends and to test some serious weaponry versus their new base, this is the right play to make. Number 9, Roguelike Dungeons. For dungeon crawlers out there, you may like this mod for the large underground dungeon structures that it generates, all having a procedurally generated layout and loot set inside. With multi-tiered dungeon towers scattered around the world with underground passages, these dungeons have custom mob spawners inside, chests full of loot and various themed and styled rooms. If you want some fresh structures to explore, mobs to tackle and other methods of obtaining loot, it's worth playing this mod. Number 8, Millionaire. How could I not feature the classic Millionaire mod on this list? For the uninitiated, the Millionaire mod was made before Minecraft actually added NPC villagers to the vanilla game, but it still holds up to this day as it still offers better villagers than vanilla does. It makes the game have less of an empty feel to it by bringing all new NPC villagers to the world based off an 11th century style period across cultures during that time, such as Norman, Indian, Japanese, Mayan, by Byzantine, Inuit, and Seljuk Turk styles, with more cultures being added and planned. These villagers have men, women and children, and a lot of mobs do different collecting, building and selling tasks, making them have a real purpose in game. Each village has a different purpose and comes with other benefits. They grow different types of crops and have different items on offer for sale. The village will grow naturally as children become adults and a village population increases. To help a village you can trade with them and they might even build a house for you. This is a legendary mod and definitely worth featuring here. Number 7, Dawn of Time. This mod is for you lovers of architecture and it's built by two builders. This mod will improve your building and make everything look better by putting over 200 brand new blocks on offer for you to use. Basically this mod has the goal of offering a high level of detail to players wanting to improve their builds in game, giving you new tools and features like new walls, chimneys, balconies, beams, floors, stairs, shutters, lamps and a huge variety of furniture like chairs, teapots, tables, and carpet to decorate your interior. This mod not only benefits medieval builders, it has a different set of themes that are based on different world cultures, like Japan, Mayan, Egyptian, French, and Roman styles. With a large amount of connected blocks, or new sets of armor with some great Japanese ones like samurai armor, new plants, this mod really has some amazing potential. Number 6, Astacor Carts. If you love the idea of horse carts being available to you, try this one. You can detach and attach these carts with an R key while riding on a mob like a horse when there is a cart nearby. You can also change to slow mode by pressing the sprint key a single time when riding to slow down your speed. The interesting thing is that the mod settings let you add non-vanilla entities like mobs from other mods to the list to be supported by mods so that you can attach carts to them too. There is the cart which which has a double chest inventory and space for a second player to sit on the back, the plow cart which tills up to three blocks when a hoe is in its inventory and changes dirt into path, and also the transportation cart which appears as a boat on wheels letting you transport friends. Number 5 Cathedral 
If you love the architecture of old buildings, more specifically cathedrals, churches, monasteries, or other classical stone structures, the Cathedral mod might be useful for you as it adds many chiselable bits and blocks with a cathedral theme. This mod does require the chisel mod though in order to run properly, and it has different types of stone railing, gargoyles of different kinds, variants of basalt, dwarven style blocks including metal types and doors, different stained glass blocks, as well as chains of each metal that you can climb. Not to mention the 16 plus colours of natural terracotta roofing and much more. Number 4 Conquest Reforged Conquest Reforged is a very well known mod which is primarily used for builders who are looking to create breathtaking medieval structures in Minecraft. This mod requires the use of Optifine as well as its partnering resource pack, the Conquest Reforged resource pack, that pairs with the mod for the best results. This modern pack includes literally hundreds of different custom textures which utilise Optifine's connected textures feature, letting you use them in your world to build with. This mod brings different themes of art and building styles to make use of in your maps, and it's not just a great one for medieval architecture, it's good to use in Roman colony building or even for building a fantasy material like rebuilding Lord of the Rings structures for an example. With thousands of different model variants for each texture, a new overhaul for Minecraft's inventory UI interface that looks beautiful, this mod is amazing. Number 3 Rustic Rustic is a medieval style themed mod that focuses on new decorational and agricultural content focused around that style. This mod contains a bunch of different kind of features, which are bees, a new alchemy system, brand new crops, a brewing system for creating beverages that give you unique effects, some brand new tree types, all new decorative blocks and some more features. The mod is good in the sense that it actually has a good book in game that shows all of the mod's features and how to use them, which is really important these days instead of having to go on the internet and look up all the information of a mod on a wiki page. Number 2 Ancient Warfare 2 this mod brings a multitude of enhancements to the game like new entities and mobs, brand new block types, vehicles and a new structure generation system for the world generator in game. You can research the recipes in game in the engineering table which is the core part of the mod. And then you can also use various machinery to automate all of the in game tasks like mining, farming crops and trees, picking fruit as well as fishing and animal farming. There's also a really interesting block in this mod called the warehouse which is a multi block system that lets you store, craft, automate the input and output of the block, and view its contents in the world all at once. There's some useful blocks in this mod which utilises its torque energy system, which features generators and different types of transport and storage module blocks, and they include windmills, water wheels and cog based machinery pieces. The structure module in the mod brings a template based structure generation system during the world gen processing game, which can be controlled via a set of tools to create templates in your world. Along with this, there's also NPCs which do different things like melee and ranged combat, medics and more that are useful to your game. The vehicle system brings some siege type weaponry in Minecraft and lets you make use of catapults, ballistas, trebuchets, rams and any other type of raiding vehicles as well as some warfare utilities too. Number 1 Dark Roleplay Medieval Aiming to create an RPG experience in Minecraft like no other, this mod is not technically completed yet, but it adds a whole bunch of content into Minecraft including the following. 50 plus decorative blocks, 13 plus building blocks, 11 crafting stations, 20 new foods, new equipment like handheld telescopes and more, and useful crafting ingredients and other items with the promise of more to come. This mod is in its infancy right now but it's definitely got some real potential and some of its contents already look really great and it's definitely one of the best medieval style building mods with a lot of promise for the future. If you enjoyed the video give it a like and if you disagree with the top medieval mods in this video that I've featured and you think that I missed your favourite one let me know what that is in the comment section below and tell me which of these top 10 medieval mods is your favourite and why that is. For more Minecraft videos subscribe with notifications turned on and follow me at the Blue Crusader on Instagram for more updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.